As we know from experience, oil and gas fields are found in challenging locations and environments. The Carb gas field was discovered in 1996 by Enterprise Energy Ireland. It was bought by Shell in 2002. The harsh Atlantic Ocean location, 83 kilometres out to sea, made production at an offshore platform technically and environmentally more difficult and much less safe for workers. Instead, when it comes on stream, the carb gas will be piped directly to an inland gas terminal at Belnaboy Bridge, about nine kilometres from the shoreline. Welcome to the carb gas terminal at Belnaboy, County Mayo. This is now the biggest construction site in Ireland and there are over 900 workers here at present. While national governments may welcome these fields for economic gain and energy security, local communities may feel the impact in different ways. Understandably, many residents were initially concerned about the proximity of a gas processing plant and pipeline to their homes. Despite ministerial consent for the pipeline route and a rigorous independent process, some local residents at Rossport, near where the pipeline comes ashore, were strongly opposed to the pipeline running through their lands. In 2005, matters came to a head when five residents were jailed for defying a court order. Shell subsequently applied to the High Court to have the injunction lifted and the men were released. Later Shell apologised for the hurt caused by their jailing. After listening to the local community, the Shell partnership changed the pipeline design, doubled the distance between the pipeline and occupied homes and halved the design pressure in the onshore section of the pipeline. Local fishermen have raised concerns about treated water leaving the terminal and flowing into the bay where they fish. Although the Shell Partnership had already committed to cleaning the water to the standard of drinking water, they agreed to move the outflow pipe to 83 kilometres offshore at an additional cost of several million euro. First of all, the uh, wastewater discharge will be treated to unusually high levels and it's intended that those will comply with the environmental quality standards in Ireland. And that's most unusual uh, because usually contaminants are discharged at much higher levels. Thereafter, uh, Shell have made the decision to take the discharge, the treated discharge, into waters quite a long way from shore. And the, the effect of that is to increase dilution and dispersion. These twin approaches, in my view, um, are a kind of belt and braces approach in the sense that either one would probably give you what you need, but when you produce them together, when you, when you use them together, uh, then there's very high levels of conservatism built into the project design. The Shell Partnership is strongly committed to developing the carb field safely for employees, local residents and the environment. Uh, for example, uh, last month we achieved one million man-hours here without a uh, lost time accident. That means that every single worker here was capable of coming to work the next day to carry on his normal working duties. I'm extremely proud of this achievement, not only for myself, but for all the people who work here on this facility. It is a tremendous uh, milestone to reach. Today, Ireland, isolated from Europe's energy infrastructure, imports some 90% of its gas. But the carb field will eventually provide up to 60% of Ireland's gas needs. Carb will be only the second producing field in Ireland's three decades of offshore exploration. Over its 15 to 20 year lifetime, the carb gas will add some 3 billion euro to the Irish economy. Well, hiring local people on the project means that we're passing on our experience and our knowledge, and maybe they, at a later stage, will benefit them in future jobs, whether it be here or whether in other parts of the country. In some instances, our mechanic and electrical contractors have employed apprentices. You know, I know for a fact that four apprentices have been taken on locally in Belmullet, and that's rare for, for a town this far out that they can get an apprenticeship right on their doorstep. The other part of local contractors is our scaffolding contractor, Hertel, has taken on 15 or 20 local um, labour, and he's trained them up. They've all gone through their first phase of training, so they're getting to become scaffolders after this, so they can walk away from this job with a scaffolding certificate which is, is a great boost for someone who hadn't got that level of training. The challenge for the Shell Partnership is to balance the needs of national and local interests. While the majority of people in Ireland and in County Mayo support the CARB project, 
Shell and its partners have learned through listening that they need to go beyond compliance to win the trust of their neighbours.